Hi. Um, in 1995, um, a spacecraft called the Galileo Orbiter was sent out to Jupiter to investigate its many moons. One moon it found that was very interesting was one called Europa. And a subsequent mission has been launched and is on its way out there uh, from NASA called the Europa Clipper. Uh, the Europa Clipper is currently doing a loop around Mars to get a bit of a gravitational speed up and it will then return to Earth and get more of a gravitational speed up and then kick out of that at enormous speed towards Jupiter, which will eventually allow it to go and orbit around uh, Europa. It's thought it may find uh, you know, biochemical signatures in water jets squirting up from the surface, that kind of thing. But the problem is that if there is life there, it's going to be sitting underneath somewhere between half a kilometre and a hundred kilometres of ice, because that's where the ocean is, deep underground, under, under ice. And um, the ocean beneath could actually be larger in volume than the whole of Earth's oceans put together which is pretty impressive. So if there's gonna be life, it could be there. Now, if that spacecraft finds life, what do we do next? Because I mean, are you gonna drill a hole through 100 kilometers of ice potentially? Uh, no, um, not gonna happen. But um, what you could do is take some of those radiothermal isotope generators, which are basically a whole bunch of plutonium balls in a, in a container uh, that generate heat. It's not a huge amount of heat, but they can keep generating heat for 100 years easily. So if you put a whole bunch of those underneath some kind of little mini submarine thing and drop it off of your lander onto the surface of Europa, it would start melting the surface and gradually sink down into it. It would melt, make a little puddle of water and sink to the bottom, make the puddle deeper and sink to the bottom. Eventually the ice would start to freeze up above it, but after some amount of time, months, years, decade or more, I don't know, it would eventually pop out from underneath the ice and out into the ocean and then it could turn on some motors, drive around, get some video footage and radio the information back up through the ice, which is doable if you pick the right frequencies, and we would see pictures, which would be very exciting. But we need funding, so who knows. Thanks.